Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and your YouTube channel. Right, let's look at the last video that we did. Just a brief overview, thank you. Now, let's move on to the next one. This is my channel. Anyone understanding joining can join in. Uh, that's capital letters. So for us, dot, dot, uh, dot is very important. So once you go there, you go into playlist. I am telling you this because sometimes it can create confusions because random videos turn up because I basically, um, I say basically a lot, sorry about that. Um, I do singing channel for Bollywood songs and um, while it was there, I had something in my mind I was thinking because I, um, in, in my uni days and in my college days, I really struggled to fund my studies and funding my studies and getting IT books especially related to networking cost me a lot of thousands of um, and education cost me a lot of thousands of pounds and in other currencies it might be in lakhs so it might be a lot so what I actually realized was getting all these books and you know knowing knowing them takes a lot of months and years and bits and pieces not everyone is sharp enough, intelligent enough. So out of 99, there might be one. And merrily, I wasn't one of them. So yeah, I, I started thinking, I said, let's give back, back something to the community, something to the people, to my friends all over the world, to the students of networking, to IT. So there we go. Uh, that's my channel. That's the playlist. And then you have to go into networking. Fundamentals. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll find all of my videos in there. And remember, you, you browse them one by one from the beginning to the end, like from, as, from ascending order or in ascending order. So ascending order will be watch video number one first and then two, three. So that, that will join up then. So now the video I have done before this one will be the second last video, hopefully, because I'm going to do this video. I do try to do videos um, quite a lot, but I, I get very less time because I have to do other bits and pieces as well uh, with my work studies bits and pieces. So, yeah. So let's crack on with it. The next video or the next area sorry this is my paper right so i use it to put it here i bought it from a charity shop these are really good things because you can put them on top of there uh here um obviously in england we don't use a lot of fans this year we did because it was too warm in other countries uh, warm countries like pakistan india subcontinent or some countries of africa you can actually put it down there uh, here here it can really hold it so yeah let's leave this here so are you ready guys and girls ladies and gentlemen here we go so this is our new ip address and that's a class b ip address to convey it so these sort of questions can be quite tricky so remember this <coughs> Sorry, I think the cough is coming back again. It's not that I eat too much um, of the oily stuff. It comes back again and again. Right, that's a class B. Class B network address or IP address or a network. So now what we have to look here is we have to find. We have to find... Um, regarding this, um, it's it's a tricky scenario though, but I'm gonna discuss it with you. We have to actually find the subnet mask. Tricky, isn't it? <laughs> Not really. Don't worry about it. It's all right. We are all in this together. I'm a student. You're a student. Everyone is a student. 
and anyone who is a teacher, please forgive and forget because this might be a different way of learning and if you can relate to it, it's completely fine. So now we are finding a subnet mass which can give us which can give us 2260 wow subnets and it can give us 10 hosts per subnet. So here we go, 2260 wow subnets. 10 and 10 hosts per subnet. So these are a lot of subnets here. Right, so that's our IP address or the network. 170.30.0.0. So just to let you know, this is the first octet, that's the second octet, that's the fourth, third and the fourth. So an octet is um one byte with eight bits inside it, just to let you know. If you don't know, follow my previous videos and you will know. So now moving into the third octet, let's have a look. Because we are in class B subnetting, we will be working on this octet first, so zero. So now just to give you an idea, in the third octet, I'm going to try to toggle or convert all these eight zeros, six, seven, into one, and see how the values change. Do you understand me? So what we will be doing is, I'll be working on powers of two. So that's two power one, two power two, two power three, and similarly carry on. So two power eight will give me bot 256. So that is not what we really need in here. We need 2260. So similarly, what I'll do is I'll carry on and I'll join it with the four talk set, which is this one. And we carry on converting zeros to one. So we got eight ones, that is two power eight. So we are converting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Sorry, I've just given you a tricky one because in the exams and in the, you know, in the network diagrams, in the topologies that you're, you, you're doing your mind mathematics, you're doing your binary maths in your mind, you need to really know to work out on and inside your mind what you're doing with powers of two. So two power eight. 256, that doesn't really matter because we, we are looking for 2260 and that's only 256. So similarly, I'll try and move forward in there. So convert more, that's 2 power 9, 2 power 10, 2 power 11, 2 power 12. So similarly, I'm just thinking 128, 192, 224. 240. So now let's see. 2 power 9, 2 power 10, 2 power 11, 2 power 12. So 2 power 9 is 512. 2 power 10 is 1024. And then similarly, we move on forward. And then what we really need to see is what 2 power 12 is. So 2 power 12 is what anyone knows. 2 power 12 is 4096. So now if you see that's 2260 and that's 4096, decent enough um, on this one. And because I think if you do 2 power 10, that's 1024. And then you have um, 2 power 11, which is 2048. So I think what, what I am thinking is 
2 power 9, 2 power 11. Uh, 2 power 9, 2 power 10 is 1024. So similarly, in 1024, we add 1024. That's 2048. So which should actually give us the required um, data that we have. But I think the thing to notice here, you see, my mind is trying to, this is human mind. You start thinking, oh, this is closer. But that's 2048. We need 2260. So we really need 2 power 12. So as you can see, 2 power 8 is 256. 2 power 12 is 4096. Now, as you can see, you know what I'm doing? Now, all the third octet that we have, I've converted all the zeros to 1. That gives us 2 power 8. That's 256. Fine. Now, from the fourth octet, we carry on moving forward we have converted four more zeros to one. So we are borrowing here to find and get our required subnets. So we get 4,096 subnets by doing this now. Correct? Correct, right. Now, we have managed to get our 2,260 range covered inside this. While doing this, but I really need to tell you that we are working in two powers or powers of t. The other thing we are doing is we are working in the table sequence as well, which is this this table sequence is 128, 192. That table sequence carries on in all of the octets. Remember that. So the third one is what? 224. And that's 240. Correct? Right. Now, similarly, if we carry on converting the zeros to 1, the next will, one will be 248, uh, blah, 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 and carries on forward. So just to give you a brief overview, not to confuse you a lot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have converted zeros to 1. So as you know, that's 2 power 8. But on the other hand, this is table values as well. Remember, so that's 128. This one is 192. The third one is a 224. So it will work on like this. 128 and then 192 and then 224. So that's first one, second one, third one, value, fourth value. These values are so, so important, guys and girls. You really need to nail them. 240, then you have 248, then you have 252, then you have 254, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you have 255. So 255, there. So looking through all this, do not worry if you don't know what's happening. Yeah, carry on repeating this procedure and you will learn. So now, because we worked in the third and fourth octet, so as a subnet mass, this is going to be your answer. 255.255, dot that's first two covered. Because what we are doing here in our problem is we have to, we have to find out the subnet mask that this network resides on. Which network? There. So we are finding the subnet mask of this one. So 255, the 255, the 240, yeah, right? No, wrong, because we converted all those zeros to one. So we have passed this octet. We have moved on to the fourth octet. Remember, guys and girls, gentlemen, ladies, remember, remember. Once we do all of those zeros to ones, that's going to be the third octet will be converted to 255. So 240, like we have converted these four zeros to four ones. So that's 128, 192, 2 to 4, and 240. 
there we go. So our answer is going to be 255.255.255.240. Fine. Good. Now, the last thing I need to tell you is, apart from getting 2,260 subnets, we needed 10 hosts as well. Do you, anyone remember that? So to for host per subnet, the formula that we do for host per subnet, I'll just move it here. I'm putting so much in there. <laughs> it's gone into a yobbly wobbly. So for host per subnet, the formula is 2y minus 2. So 2 to the power, 2 to the power y, yeah, that's correct, minus 2. So these four zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. So four zeros that are left in the four octet, which is this one. Rest have been taken by the subnets. Now 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 to the power 4 minus 2. Let's see. So what we have got left is 4. So 2 to the power 4 is what? Anyone knows? So 2 in multiplied by 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. And 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 minus 2. That gives us 14. So we have 14 hosts per subnet. So 2y, 2 y, 2 to the power y, 2 power 4 is 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. That's 16. That's 16 minus 2. And you come up with 14 hosts per subnet. So we have solved our equation 2,260 2, subnets. Oh, it's getting so long. Right. Now, then we have 10 hosts per subnet we needed to find. So we have found them. With what? This subnet mask. That's the answer we needed to learn. Do not get confused. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the same IP address and we'll do it step by step. So you will understand what I mean. In the next videos, I'm going to try to do them step by step. Just have a look through this. And in the next video, I'm going to go step by step so you understand what's happening. So step by step means first we'll find this, then we'll find that, then we'll create the powers of two table here, and then we will create the rest of the pieces, how these values work, and then once. So I'll see you in the next video. Not to get confused, have a look through this video. Bye. Sorry, it's gone a bit longer. Uh, this is a tricky one and this can really hurt you in the exams and your computer papers with Pearson if you are going to give your CCNA exams or networking fundamentals, etc, etc. Bye.